Body scanners and clear bags. New security measures will be in place at all Guilford County School football games. The changes come as school leaders say they uh, are continuing to have conversations, of course, about improving safety. WFMY News 2's Avery Powell is live at Page High School ahead of their game tonight with what you need to know. If you're, if you're going to want to go to a Guilford County Schools athletic event tonight, you're going to need one of these. A clear plastic bag about this size, similar to a Ziploc bag. You're also going to need to go through these body scanners behind me here. There are some exceptions to the bag rule, though. Small clutch bags, diaper bags accompanied by a child, or bags for a medical device can be brought in. They just may need to be checked. There also isn't a restriction on items you were previously allowed to bring in, like cameras. Other school districts, like like Winston-Salem for Scythe County Schools have already implemented similar policies. GCS leaders say it's a way to make rules uniform across the state and is also another sign of their commitment to safety. It will help our security go much faster in the lines. It will make sure we're safe and secure, but that the fans get to experience the game and not worry about security. They can focus on the game because they know coming in they were safe. The touchless body scanners were first tested at several schools and then placed in all traditional GCS high schools. The district was also testing them at games, and now they'll be at all GCS football games. We are serious about safety, and we want that event. And so let's not take that problem to the school. Let's not take violence to our schools. GCS says they are always looking continuously at ways to improve safety within the district, and these are just some of the ways they're doing that with a preventative approach.